I want to show you a little bit about about what you get by default and then what you get with the new the new behavior. Uh, so if you've been an enterprise customer of ours for a while, we've had a spell checking solution. And as I start to type, you'll notice that it identified that that word was incorrect on the fly. So as I was typing, tiny MCE identified a problem. I can right click on it and I can find alternative words. So if, you're, if you've used modern word processors, that's a pretty common approach for how things happen. Uh, there are some customers who really don't want the as you type feature. So in the new release in Tiny MCE 438 Enterprise, we've added something called uh, dialogue-based spelling. So you'll notice that as I'm typing, nothing's happening. It's not attempting to fix the words. So in the dialogue-based mode, what I have to do is I actually have to click the button. And now I'm going to be presented with the same information. So as opposed to right-clicking and getting these words in a list right next to the word, I'm simply moving the task of spelling to an as you request it, as opposed to on the fly. And instead of putting it right on the words, I'm now putting it in a dialogue. And you'll notice that I can go through here, and I can still fix all my misspellings just the same. If I go back again, it's going to tell me there are no misspellings found. So the spell checking engine, the, the thing that is responsible for identifying what words are misspelled or spelled correctly or incorrectly, none of that changed. The only thing that really changed is we're now giving you two UI approaches to handling that spelling. One is on the fly, and one is by using that dialog. So we have had some people who have uh, wanted to turn off the as you type piece of it, so now that, that's an alternative way to get there. 